Hi everyone and welcome to a memory upgrade tutorial for a Mac Pro uh, 2013 through 2019. This specific Mac, uh, this specific Mac had four models uh, that are basically the same exact EMC number, the same A number, just a different uh, processor and graphics card speeds. Uh, different variants but the architecture of this specific unit is the same and so it's going to have the same capabilities of course you want to read more details about the memory in this the number one resource that I suggest is everymac.com please go there and read up on what the maximum memory is I'll save you the trouble right now these specific units uh, were maxed out at 64 gigabytes when they were first manufactured uh, then after some time, a company, a memory company, uh, ha was able to uh, get a 128 gigabyte version uh, of memory working for these units. And so now you can upgrade one of these Mac Pros to a maximum of 128 uh, gigabytes of uh, random access memory. These units have four banks. We're going to open it up and uh, take a look inside. Here's how a memory upgrade is performed in this unit. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unplug the uh, receptacle. You, there's no way to take off the cover without doing this. Then you want to turn this little uh, unlock from left to right. And then now this will release it and allow you to lift this up. Okay. Directly to the left and to the right are the memory banks. And the way that they're clipped in is you have this little button right here, and if you just press it, uh, push it up and inside at the same time, this uh, memory module bank will come out. And it'll loosen like a little bit like this. Once you push it in and it comes out, you can just grab the memory, and I like to grab it up top or in the bottom, uh, and then just start pulling a little bit from one end and then a little bit from the other end and it just comes right out just like that. Uh, of course remember just be very gentle when you're doing this. Um, take out both of the modules let's shift over to the le uh, left side and then here same exact thing we press this in and this comes popping right out like that and it just smooth it's, it just moves out just a little bit just enough for you uh, to uh, release the tension and then you can just uh, pull these again pull on one side just a little bit on the other side just a little bit and then same thing for the fourth module and here we go once you have your new memory modules. Just want to give a little better angle here so you can see exactly how this is done here. Now, I'm going to take this. You can see that uh, this upper part is the longer part and this is the shorter part. You can see on, on the stick here that this is the shorter and this is the longer part. So we're going to insert this uh, the one that's in the back first and go into the slot number two first. Now I like to push a little bit on the bottom, then a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top, uh, and I want to keep pushing like that to make sure that it's all the way in. And then the second one, same exact thing, I want to guide it right, right along uh, this groove push it a little bit in here, push it a little bit in here, all the way in, all right? Uh, now, once it's like this, all you have to do is just right below where this arrow is, this is where, where the RAM is loose, you just press that in and you'll hear this click. And that means that it's locked in and there's pressure on the teeth. So this memory is good and installed right now, all right? And then so we move over to the next side. We take uh, this rear slot first. 
no, slot number three. They, by the way, they have the little numbers right here. Uh, that was one, two, three, and four. They're sequential. So bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. I feel it. There is no room for it to move anymore. So it's good. And then the last number four. Same thing. Just carefully align and guide it into the groove. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. Okay? And now, uh, once again, we click it in and we hear that click. All right? And so that's it. This is finished and it has the new memory inside. Now all we have to do is reassemble by putting this back on, lock it in, plug it up, let it power on, go to about this Mac once you got it powered on and make sure uh, to click on the memory and, and make sure that the slots are showing up whatever the memory is that you put upgraded it to. I will link uh, links to memory upgrade modules in the description of the video so you can check it out on Amazon or eBay. If you'd like further information, I highly recommend going to everymac.com, finding the exact unit that you have, and looking up its specifications. Thank you for watching.